Well, one of the best things about summer is that you can get outside and grill. But is your grill in good shape? Do you know I haven't taken the cover off my grill in two years? <laughs> well, then yours is probably in good shape. <laughs> it's, I think it's brand new. <laughs> maybe, I've never used it. Maybe this is the year that you'll add a fire pit for the family to gather around, or maybe something else. We went to Connecticut Appliance and Fireplace Distributors, or CAFD, in Southington to see the trends for your backyard. The trend of the high-end kitchen is extending to the outdoors. This built-in grill by Lynx is good enough for a restaurant, but made for your yard. Besides being really big, yeah. what's so special about this? Well, it's the greatest stainless that's uh, manufactured with this particular product. Uh, the fact that this is a 42-inch wide grill where typically you're doing 30 and a 36. This has infrared burners for direct heat high heat output, um, large rotisserie that you can do multiple you know, products at, at, at any given time. The Lynx grills have beautiful lighted knobs. It can heat up to 700 degrees for searing those steaks. And your outdoor kitchen can come with storage or even a great bar sink, just like the restaurants have. Is this a warming drawer? Yes, it is. It's a warming drawer to keep everything nice and toasty while you're finishing up cooking on different other products. Is this the trend? Are people really wanting to invest and have just a, a very special outdoor place? More and more people are. I uh, think people today are liking, you know, and, and enjoying the fact of staycations. So rather than, you know, spending a, a lot of money on several different vacations, you can have uh, your own little oasis in your backyard and, and entertain yourself, family, and friends. So, Sista, we haven't always had the best weather, but I have to say, I feel really toasty right here. What's going on? <laughs> Those are Infratech heaters. They're manufactured for outdoor. Um, basically, you can install them anywhere on the side of a house, on a pergola. If you aren't quite ready for all the frills, a new standing grill is still a summer thrill. Weber is really a great product. It's been around for many, many years. Uh, it's, it's one of the staples here um, for us. I love the color. <laughs> But these are also, this is a little smaller, like what kind of questions do you need to be asking yourself before you invest well, in the grill? What, what size of a family do you have? How many kids do you have? Do you have a lot of parties? Are there, uh, is it something that's used all the time? Do you prefer cooking on stainless steel grates versus cast iron? You don't have to be a Boy Scout to have a great fire pit anymore. Uh, you do not. You basically <laughs> turn on the gas and it lights. And you have uh, pretty different rocks. You can pick whatever color you want. There's a lot of different options. These fire pits can be freestanding or built in. You can add a fireplace to a wall or make fire the centerpiece of a table to stay warm. Or maybe you just want a little glow for those summer nights. This is a Tempest torch that's uh, something that we started carrying about a year and a half ago. They're available as wall mount or you can do uh, counter mount or they come with the, you know, uh, poles to mount into the ground and into the floor. How about a beefer? That's what this new gadget is. You basically put the steak in on the top here. Uh, it's 1500 degrees uh, burner up on top. It's a minute and 15 seconds each side. Then you let it um, continue cooking a little bit up on the top. And then you finish it off about five seconds each side. Uh, nice hard crust on the outside, tender on the inside. So you don't have to guess. No. You're going to have steakhouse quality steaks every time. Yes, 100%. You can always be ready for a party with an outdoor refrigerator. Really Do you leave your product. food out here yes. in the outdoor refrigerator like you would inside? Yes. Animals can't get in there? No, not at all. Food and drinks. You'll never run out of ice for your guests if you have this ice chest. And? It allows you to put your drinks and keep foods cold if you don't happen to have a refrigeration. Dining al fresco reaches a new level with the al fresco grill. Who needs those grocery store chicken rotisseries? You can do it here. <laughs> you can definitely do them at home. Uh, this has uh, it's set up with a 42 inch wide grill with uh, two uh, rotisserie sections that you would put two different pieces of meat on there and it's a hidden motor which is really a nice idea. Now this is super fancy. You even got the outdoor hood. Do yes. more people want this? Uh, if it's an enclosed area that they're that they're cooking under a pavilion or something that has a roof on it, it's definitely the way to go. How about this 65,000 BTU super size burner for your lobster boil? So Sisto, this is the grill you have in your backyard? I put this in my yard about three years ago and it's really a great product. We love uh, DCS. Uh, part of the reasons why I did it is I liked the fact that it had a slanted grate system to capture all the grease to come down, made it for easy cleaning. Okay. The other reason was the uh, rotisserie. The rotisserie you can put up to a 50 pound piece of meat on it. 
50 pounds of meat Pretty right much, there. Yeah, not that I've ever done it, but that's what's claimed, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And once you've cooked that giant piece of meat, here's a pro tip for cleaning the grill. After we're done cooking for the day, typically we get aluminum foil, we put it across the entire grill, turn it on high and close the lid for about 10, 15 minutes, and typically it incinerates everything in there, so it's a nice, easy cleanup afterwards. So, Sisto, if someone wants a grill from you, any grill they buy, you'll deliver and assemble for free? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, this is something that we've been doing for quite a few years, and it's helping uh, with the sales, it's helping with the customers. Nobody really wants to take a grill home and have to figure out how to put it together. Yeah. So, so we do it in this house. So you come to CAFD, everything's taken care of? Yes. You even teach us how to clean it? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I gotta say, I went home and grilled, and I put the aluminum foil just like he said, and it totally works. Seriously? Yes, you have to do that. So put the <laughs> that aluminum foil, fantastic. shut the lid, come back, it's all... In and they are the nicest people. So nice. So nice. Sisto and his fa whole family, they're just delightful, and everybody who works nice there is so nice. Nice to shop local with a family, and they really will help you make the right choice for you, so you can go and check out CAFD in Southington, or you can visit them on the web at CAFD. Dot com. They're right in the Pilgrim uh, Furniture Shopping Plaza, right? Yeah. And uh, Connecticut Lighting. So pretty, all so those grills. Pretty. Absolutely mm. awesome. All right.